Welcome back to Explosion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Mario Bocara. Mario Bocara, the Croatian sensation. He's made a name for himself since coming here to Impact. He's been involved in some six-man tag team action. I think that a uh, tremendous future for Mario Bocara. This man is no nonsense, an international star making his way to the Impact Wrestling roster. We saw who he showed up with, Falapa, who is a, another great international addition to the Impact Wrestling roster. And this man is certainly a no nonsense, take no prisoners type of style. Yeah, I'm a fan of what we've seen thus far from Mario Bocara. And it'll be interesting to see him in singles competition because we haven't seen that just yet. His opponent, Garza Jr. Garza Jr. We usually see him competing with Laredo Kid as part of uh, tag team action. Garza Jr., the nephew of the late great Hector Garza, following in his uncle's footsteps. And Garza Jr. has already made a tremendous name for himself here. Great looking young man. He's got all the tools it takes to have. A huge career mental out of Monterrey, Mexico. Garza Jr., who has teamed with Laredo Kids so far here in Impact Wrestling to, uh, I say, much success, especially upon arrival. Very short time, really making their name known. And... Nice move here by Garza Jr. and a standoff between these two. I don't know if you want to try to. Match the pace of Garza Jr. He's so quick, but from everything we've seen from Mario Boca, up, perhaps he can keep that quick pace with Garza Jr. Just 24 years old, Garza Jr. comes to us uh, with quite a history, quite a background, and quite a family lineage of wrestlers competing amongst the Garza family. Has a younger brother that is very impressive as well. And Especially in Mexico. Keep in mind, he's been a wrestler for eight years. They start so young in Mexico and start training at a very young age. I believe uh, when you look at some of the greatest of all time that came from, from Mexico, you look at the likes of Rey Mysterio Jr., who started competing when he was 14, I believe. He had to compete under a mask just to be allowed to compete at such a young age. And Garza Jr. looking for a Huracan Rana. Bocara tried to counter. And Garza Jr. got the better of that exchange. Well, for better or for worse, you've heard countless stories of uh, a mask being donned to, to hide the face, the features, the age in some cases. Because they do start so very young. And for better or for worse, they're in there at the very young age uh, and developing into their style. And that's why you see so many young, great luchadors out there. And it's great that they have the platform here to compete on Impact Wrestling, to be allowed to come here and show off their skills show off what they can do there's only one impact wrestling there's only one explosion and you're getting to see some great action here Garza Jr. and the ladies usually make uh, make noise upon that one love the tearaways from Garza now he needs business and Bokura trying to get after it here and Garza Jr. he likes to have a good time does Garza Jr. Ooh, wow routinely teams with wrestlers like Rey Mysterio in Mexico is amongst the top mix and now making his way up the ranks in Impact Wrestling, here comes Garza Jr. Don't take your eyes off of this young man, and Bokura caught him with a forearm. Right to the face, Mario Bokura has changed the pace of this match. What will happen, who will win, find out. Welcome back to Explosion, this is our second match here this week on Explosion. Singles competition between Mario Bokura in the blue and red and white checkered very Croatian style ring attire and Garza Jr. in the traditional black and red. We saw a tag team match earlier on explosion between Reno Scum of the DCC and Reno Scum was victorious in that match. Josh Matthews and JB on the action. Brian Stifler 
is the referee, and attendance has been taken. Cover now. Hooks the outside leg, and Garza Jr. kicks out at two. During the break, JB, it was all Boker, and he really slowed down Garza Jr. That should help him in this match. Well, you know, it's the style, and that's where... Wow. Oh, 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 the power, it's the style, it's the, just the brash mouth, hard hitting offense. Hooks the outside leg again, and another kick out from Bokura after a tremendous German suplex. Great throw from the Croatian sensation who now resides in New Jersey. Just Mario Bokura. Decided to move over here to the States, JB. Thought he would have more opportunities to compete and become a household name. Well, he's taking full advantage of that here on Explosion, no doubt about it. Garza Jr. still residing in Mexico, but is a frequent uh, traveling all over the world at this point for uh, this international star, and we're happy to have him here at Impact, no question about it. Here we go. Nice drop kick by Bokoro. He's showing the world that he can fly around as well. Cover, 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 Garza down, and he kicks out. You know, it's interesting, too, somebody with that background, the Croatian background, you don't hear a lot about wrestling in Croatia. You don't hear a lot about the promotions and the different people sure. running shows, but it's so prevalent, so prominent in Mexico, you grow up with it as part of your society. I think that tends to lend some credibility to the just the sheer fact that this man, Pokora, has come out of Croatia and made a name for himself on an international stage. It's a lot... A lot more difficult, I'd say, due to the fact of the availability, the training, the facilities that are available to you, the people you can train with. Garza is born into his blood, in his family since day one. Look at this. Big move there by Garza Jr. Is this enough to put away Mario Bokura, who says not so fast? Up until Mario Bokura, the only person that I knew from Croatia was Tony Kukoc, famous basketball player from the, from the mid-90s. Sure. Well, one thing is for sure, the... The very fact that he's here, the very fact that he's made a name for himself, just speaks for his for his drive, his ability. Hasn't been an easy road, but he's here. See what Garza Jr. has in mind here. Up on the top rope, perhaps looking for a, for a moonsault. Took a little bit too much time, and Mario Bokoro was there to counter. Yeah. And now Bokoro going to reach. Garza Jr. up on the top rope, meet him up here, precarious situation for both men, and Garza Jr. right back to where he was. Oh, wow, look at this. This is where he's so dangerous from the top. No. Oh, wow. Wow, what a throw from Mario Bokura. What a throw. Halfway across the ring. Crawls into the cover, hooks the leg, and Mario Bokura was so close to a victory. And that's got to be the point where frustration sets in. I mean, that was a... Opportunity to really close the door on this matchup and get the win. Yeah. 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 Looking for an armbar, perhaps. Garza Jr. counters. Big kick to the back of the head. Sidestep. Look at Garza Jr. Look at that athleticism. Amazing <laughs> athleticism. And watch this. This is a patented move. What Garza is, Jr. What is, what is this? Moonsault off the second. And a victory for Garza Jr. Your winner of the match, Garza Jr. Well, he is the nephew of the late, great Hector Garza. And if you were a fan of Hector Garza, who is one of the most incredible wrestlers to ever come out of Mexico, and you just saw how he finished off Bokura, it is, you can see the resemblance, you can see the style similarities. It's like watching Hector Garza again, and what a sensation, and what a great way to carry on that man's legacy. Garza Jr., victorious this week on Explosion over Mario Bokra. Impressive win this week.